It's essentially what we've been looking at is a bacteria that lives uh, in deep sea hydrothermal vents. So the bacteria is called Diomicrospira crunogena, or T. cru for short. So what we've done is we've studied these things um, from these, these environments to try to look at their, their enzymatic makeup to see if we can utilize any of the enzymes they produce for uh, industrial carbon sequestration. What we're trying to do is remove carbon dioxide from the uh, flume gases of industrial processes. This is a computer representation of the um, enzyme inside of T-Crew, so this is carbonic anhydrase. It turns out these enzymes are very good at, at uh, gobbling up CO2 and, and producing bicarbonate. Basically what it does is it converts carbon dioxide to bicarbonate and a proton uh, using water. So this process occurs naturally but this enzyme is able to do this very rapidly and efficiently. So we've discovered that we can extract this enzyme from the bacteria and since this bacteria lives in um, a very atypical environment that's uh, high temperature, uh, different pHs, high pressure. It's evolved to have this enzyme be resilient to some of the factors that might be in play in an industrial setting. And this is useful for us because there's a big push, uh, in not only in the field of studying carbonic anhydrase, but in general to, to develop new methods to sequester CO2 for, um, to reduce greenhouse gas emission. At the moment we're at the bench, so we're, we're producing milligram quantities of this enzyme. If we get a, a, a variant of the enzyme that's really effective, we could easily upscale this to get kilogram amounts, which is what you would require for an industrial process. So really what comes next is working on how to immobilize this enzyme inside of a bioreactor. So what that means is attaching it to some sort of resin beads or putting it in solution inside of a reactor so that when the gas flows through, it's able to actually clean it out uh, efficiently. So we need to play around with how to do the specifics of that design and test the efficiency of it. The concept here is if we can lower the CO2 emissions, obviously that's going to go a long way to reducing the amount of CO2 in the atmosphere, which will obviously help us all in the long term.